fascinating session of snooker. It's China against Thailand on one side of the arena, and it's the all-English battle of the best mates on the other. It's been top quality so far in Telford, 12 centuries, and a record 1-4-6 break courtesy of Mark Allen. You can't take your eyes off this event for one single second. So welcome to day three of the Johnson's Paint Players' Championship. <laughs> Please welcome the nicest, politest guy on the snooker circuit. Scottish Open runner-up just before Christmas. He is making his Players' Championship debut this afternoon. So come on, Telford, give it up for Thailand's Nopon Siankam. <laughs> And his opponent, a player Stephen Hendry has described as nothing short of a revelation this season. English Open runner-up in October, he stormed to the International Championship title in November, and as a result, he's catapulted himself to third on the one-year list. Please welcome China's snooker panda, Zhang Ander. <laughs> On table one, here comes the reigning European Masters champion, winner of four ranking titles in all. Players' Championship runner-up in 2022, he's the one and only eagle-eyed Barry Hawkins. <laughs> And finally, to a player of immense determination on and off the table. Four times a world champion, winner of 22 ranking crowns so far. Give it up for the jester from Leicester, Mark Selby. Sorry, what was that? It's, it's a head, your choice. If you relish Barry. unyielding match play, Just professional excellence, game. experience, and heavy scoring, okay. you'll enjoy this contest. Two terrific Thank all round players. Frame. Barry Hawkins to break. Two champions. Watching will be easy. Predicting what will happen, I think, is very difficult. Too tough to call for me, Ken. Yeah, completely agree. <clears throat> I mean, you would look at both of their CVs extremely very positive but you'd have to say from the cv selby has to be favorite but you know you would feel over the course of the season maybe barry hawkins is probably playing the better snooker but you could never discount this man one of the toughest players that's ever played the game what a competitor not a great opener a long way away from that opening red and a wonderful opportunity now for Barry Hawkins to settle right down. Long way away, this. Hawkins, the outsider of two, but I think he represents the value. One. Yeah, a little bit surprised he got into the cue ball so much there. He wanted to be a better, have a better angle on this blue. May elect to, could elect to go into the pack here. Yeah. Now, always need a little bit of luck. You're never guaranteed to be on a red. I think he's on one into this bottom Six. left corner pocket. And he may be able to get on the black afterwards. Yeah. 
He's just having a look there, the black spot. So he can pot this red and screw back to, well, almost where the cue ball is right now. Seven. And with a nice angle on the black, he may be able to disturb the red just above the black and to the right. Still beyond this red into the left corner. Delicate little shot, this. Yeah, lovely. Nicely played. And all of a sudden, even though he didn't have a, the angle he would have liked on the blue, it's actually worked out in his favour. 14. That was a wonderful split. Yes, the split has worked out for Hawkins, but very difficult to split Wait, these two in terms of what's happened before. As we know, Selby leads only 12-10 in career meetings. In best of 11s, it's 3 3. This season, one win each. No clues whatsoever. Yeah, and let's have a look at that split again. It's worth having a look at because, as you saw, it was a little grimace with how far the cue ball came back. But have a look at this. Took the opportunity to go into the pack, and that red just coming down left of the black was perfect for him. Oh, he's let the cue ball go here. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Why did he have to hit it so hard? <coughs> he's done all the hard work. Ball's in perfect position. and Wow. Let's end the break. You're bound to get misjudgments. Barry Hawkins. But that was really shocking to me. <laughs> Yeah, he had so much room for air. I was just going to talk about normally how his cue ball is so precise and pristine. But, uh, yeah, that would be a, well, a bit of a shock to his system, no doubt. That was akin to a professional golfer using a 7-9 to hit it 100 yards. <laughs> Very clumsy. <laughs> what a Very shot he's played there. I mean, he won't be too bothered about the, the four points. He'll be he'll be delighted with the connection on the uh, on the red. Have a look at this. So he's trying to go off right-hand side of that red, bring the cue ball back to Borg. The main thing, he hasn't left the red, so he'll be delighted. Take from Barry Hawkins and no real pressure on that shot. And sort of, well, let's give him Mark possibility of this red just left of the pink into the left corner pocket. He'd be screwing into the pink and back up for maybe blue or ball colour. Got to be careful with the cue ball here. Could doesn't get the right connection on the pink. Could go close to the right centre, but. Big shot. He'll be bringing more reds into play as well. Oh, lovely play. Very, oh, he's got two. Two. <laughs> two for the price of one. Nice shot. Rambo. Six. He's come up short. Uh, the red that uh, he was hoping to get on. He's trying to get on that red just directly above the black, but a few inches short of that and no pot available. Immediately trying to bring the safe red 
out into the open because he knows if he gets another chance, he's going to need that. Try and hide the reds with the green. Tight Max on that ball six. cushion. And, uh, not bad. The one aspect of Selby's game, even in a period of general inconsistency, is safety. And also his awareness when it comes to escaping snookers. There's no one better. example of exactly what you were talking about there Phil what a wonderful safety shot he's got cover with the green this time a bit more trickier for Barry Hawkins trying to come off two cushions hit the red the extreme red left of the pack just a little clip off that and back up for bulk he's got it too heavy He's left a possible pot. That red just right of the, of the pink is available. And maybe one in that bunch as well that he can clip in. Selby failed on the shot to nothing. Maybe there's one available here for his opponent. Yeah, just a few. The first opening sort of gambit from Mark Selby was quite a long way away. Even that shot there, not close enough for him. They'd be worrying signs. Long ball game, just not there. And it's sort of being his Achilles heel, I think, this season. It's OK when he gets in amongst them. Cue ball, normally very, very good. But it's his long ball game, I think, that has let him down this year, this season so far. Just hasn't been as consistent as he once was. Something that he has to work on, I feel. And get a bit more confidence in. One thing Hawkins can never use as an excuse, a lack of incentive today. It's massive for him, this match. He's going to be at the Tour Championship. That's signed, sealed and delivered. But he wants to be a seed for the Crucible. And winning today would greatly help in that regard. Well, that will help him as well. What a nice fluke. Good cue ball, though. Man, it's going to be an even better cue ball when he trickles up behind the brown here. Couldn't have foreseen this fluke. But try and get this cue ball tight to this brown. Try and not leave a, a side cushion available. Hey, Hawkins, what? Well, he's got the snooker, but it could have been a lot better. Ken, you've been there many times, sitting in the chair watching your opponent fluke a ball. The heart must sink. <laughs> it does. It's not nice. And then he puts you in this position. Certainly. No friendliness there between the two. <laughs> that mate's business is out the window. Once they get on that green base, it has to be. You have to be. Well... Ruthless almost when you get on that table. I don't know who you're playing. Now, playing the two cushion escape. Oh, he 
doesn't want to come back off the jaw, the middle Go pocket. Barry Hawkins for. That could cost them. Absolutely, and that's really uncharacteristic. That kind of mistake from Selby, not what we expect at all. One. I think that fluke red could be well, Eight. the pivotal ball in this frame. It's given Barry Hawkins a wonderful chance now. He's got a good lead, 42 already. Nine. Red left of the black will probably be his next choice. Fifteen. Sixteen. Purely and simply off balance. He was stretching. He did not time that shot at all. Lucky the red went in. Yeah, a complete deceleration there in the backswing. Oh, what a chance missed. Very okay, he's got a good 16. lead, 50 points. But that black and another red and the frame is over. I can't believe it. Neither can we. Early signs, though, not encouraging for Selby. Cue ball nowhere near in terms of safety. Well short of the bulk line. This time, can he get that cue ball up behind green and brown? Of two, maybe three cushions. It was a good line, very good line. Has he hit it hard enough? Unlucky. Good effort. Is he on this red? He's having a good look. Maybe able to hit the red. No, he can't. So excellent shot from Mark Selby there. He's got him snookered on all four reds. Would you believe? And if he plays well, the slow cue ball off, maybe one cushion to nestle into these three reds at the bottom of the table here, that could be dangerous. <laughs> oh, he's played that well. Nice swerve around the, the brown. Played it very well. Safety shot, knowledge by this oh, knowledgeable snooker crowd. <clears throat> well, this is what we expected from these two players, and this is what we're getting. Tough. 
Hard match play snooker. Good safety. No quarter given. First to blink, though, is Selby. Hawkins, 50 to the good, so this red plus any colour will be sufficient. Foul on a miss. He's missed it. Is he going to leave a free Max ball? Selby, is he going to leave a free ball? Oh, it might be a free ball, you know. Ball. Wow. What a mistake. He could have taken a red on. OK, it was a bit dangerous, but... To miss it and leave the free ball, wow. And he's normally so proficient with the rest, that's what suggested to me he might take the risk and go for the red. Well, what a chance for Max Elby here for him. Nice easy brown start. He'll probably try and get the blue back on the spot. If he doesn't have the angle, the yellow will do. One. He's got plenty of points to work with. He's just checking the scoreboard there. This red, just to the right of the black spot. It's his next choice, of course. He's going to need to go into those reds, though, don't The three reds in a line. So it's imperative. Three. He gets a, a good angle off this next red on the black. Because he's got to disturb those. So those three reds in a line. None of them are potable at the moment. Uh, what's the angle like? Oh. Mm. It's not too bad. You'd like to be hitting the middle red of the tree here. The first red, closest to the black, that might not be any good. Middle red would be the best shot. Oh, well, I say no good, but it's worked out OK. He'll be happy with that. 11. <laughs> 12. This frame in the process of being transformed, if Hawkins were to lose it in these circumstances, it would be an immediate sickness. He had two wonderful chances to put it away. Wasted both and then left the free ball needlessly. Well, this could be the shot that's... 19. Going to give Max Elby the chance because this could go wrong. <clears throat> Potting this red, he's cannon into the red it's on this top cushion. Possibly double kiss may be involved here, but this could go wrong and he could miss this red here. Mm. Well, he's played it nicely, but well, the red has gone safe on a much more awkward position than it was before. So. Has he got the angle to take it out, or is he just going to drop behind it? Max Selby, 20. The worst possible scenario for Selby. The only good thing for him... Hawkins left-handed, so he needs the rest. This isn't the nicest spot for him because, of course, quirkily, he uses the rest right-handed. Oh, this is tough. Well, you've got to fully commit to it. And if he does, he misses it, he's going to leave it up. It looks good. Looks very good. What a shot. That's a That's fine winner. Brilliant shot.
For Barry Hawkins, this first Eight. frame was a rather large cherry. He needed three bites of it. <laughs> Harry Hawkins, eight. <clears throat> Selby, 34 adrift. 27 there, so needs a couple of snookers. Well within his capabilities, mind you. He's normally like a dog with a bone in this kind of situation, Selby, but right now he doesn't seem sharp at all. No. And then that pinky missed. Quite a long way away from it, really. Normally, so good in the, you know, when he needs a good clearance. Just lacking a little bit of confidence, I feel, Mark Selby. Form is temporary, the class is permanent, and he is a, a class player, one of the best of all time. But just at the moment, he's just lacking that ultra confidence there. He needs to get back to winning ways. Selby has lifted 22 world ranking event trophies, but not one for 11 months. He's most recent, the WST Classic in his hometown of Leicester, home city, last season. Be knocking the yellow over the, rolling it over one of the pockets. If it was Barry Hawkins, he'd be leaving chances for snookers on the yellow because if he leaves the yellow in the jaws of a pocket, it's sort of forcing him to pot the yellow and also remove that green from that corner pocket, which is in a good position. But this could be the end now. Another poor shot. He's already given the nod. Frame Barry Hawkins. Yes, it wasn't clinical. It was far from flawless. Telford International Centre. 59. This afternoon, it's the conclusion of the last 16, the first round. On table two right now, Nopon Sankan trying to equalise against Zhang Ander. Zhang won the first frame with a break of 71. Sankan holding sway in the second, although he's been a little unfortunate with his last positional shot. OK, man. Thank you. The second frame. Mac, sell me to break. Top of Mark Selby's wish list. 
quite simply, to get going. Very lacklustre opening frame, I thought, from him. Yeah, a few mistakes in there. Uncharacteristic mistakes. Well, from both players, but... As Barry triumphed in the end. Just one footnote on table two, of course, you can see the action on ITVX, and it's a perfect multi-screen scenario. Yeah, just another example there, Phil. I mean, that was another, you know, attempt at a long red there into that corner. And, well, never hit the jaws. Possible double here for Barry Hawkins. Oh, looks close, looks close. Looks very close, what a shot. Excellent. And he's got a nice angle. In the black. Yeah, can he go through that little gap? There's those two reds just above. And you see the double again. <laughs> Nicely worked out. Gonna try and get through that gap of reds. And he's played that nicely. Eight. Nine. Let's have a look at this, the long red fill, and just see how far 16. it is. I mean, when we talk in fractions, you know, he's gone for this, but look how far he's missed it, boy. At the top cushion. That's worrying. Barry, in the meantime, oh, he's the, carved a wonderful opportunity for himself. A couple of shots, and look how the balls are situated. Absolutely perfect. And for him, beating Selby on the big occasion 24. is... Nothing new. He's knocked Selby out of two world championships. He's beaten Selby in the quarterfinal of the Masters in the past. Yeah, and I don't want to get too excited, Phil, but that's, well, four reds, four blacks. I'm wondering, he's got an opportunity to go up for blue here. Will he come back for the black? No, he's gone up for the blue. Thirty-three. Killjoy. Spoiled sport. And in that situation, Ken, you would have done exactly the same. Absolutely. <laughs> My history, the 147s. <laughs> 35. I've played that nicely. 
He's on a couple of reds here into this right corner pocket. Thirty six. Once again, could go through the gap of the two reds and cannon the red and right in the middle like that. Perfect. Always on this red into the bottom right corner. 43. <clears throat> this shot could be the glue that holds this break together. played into a blind pocket oh, very missable that pink but he played it lovely he's got the perfect cannon on this red to knock it towards his corner pocket oh didn't move that much to cue ball but he's still okay 51 players just tend to just that little bit of extra focus and concentration now all reds are in the open so any missed ball could be very costly only looking for well, a couple more reds and colors and he's over the line in this frame you saw him there just putting that extra 59. little bit of effort into that plaque 64 ahead, so 75 64. remaining. Too much of a stretch to be able to use it without the rest, so it's just virtually frame ball. He'd be on the pink if he gets it. No problem, 65. right in the heart of the pocket, just like the last frame. Two really good shots with the rest. One of both frames. Good break this. Yes, the Hawkins rest play I think is one of these most reliable features. We all talk 71. about the best rest player being Sean Murphy or Kyron Wilson. 72. Hawkins not regarded in that group but I think he should be. And if poor old Mark Selby was looking for a boost from frame two, it's been the opposite. Barry Hawkins, 78 in the frame. Three, but Mark Selby sits forlornly in his chair, nodding in concession. Barry Hawkins doubles his advantage. In the spotlight this afternoon at the Players' Championship, Barry Hawkins the and frame. Mark Selby. Barry Hawkins to break. It's a race to six, best of 11 frames, this. And that's just as well for Mark Selby, who has begun very slowly and needs a radical improvement. Needs to find some spark that, so far, just hasn't been there.
And let's see how good he can play this long pot. That's more like it. Oh. Needs a kiss on the brown, though. He's OK. That's better. Cue that beautifully. Got right through it. That's going to be the spark. It's the fuse. Need to get something going, Max Elby. Let me quickly tell you that on table two, Nopon Sankon has drawn level with Five. Janganda. 1-1. One, one. Max LB5. I was about to say these are worrying signs, but that doesn't really cover it. These are very concerning signs for me. Yeah, and that's, that's just confidence, Phil. You know, it's just lacking confidence. Just not 100% sure of himself at the moment. Spoke about snooker and how difficult it can be. You know, <laughs> such a cerebral game. It's you've got to be so mentally strong. And when things aren't going well for you, you know, it's it becomes even more difficult because you're sat in that chair. There's nothing you can do. Opponents at the table. You come to the table. You miss a pot, and then opponent takes advantage. You just got to sit and wait and be patient. Keep positive thoughts. That's why it's one of the toughest sports in the world mentally to play. There's no doubt about that. And it happens to all the players. They all go through crises Six. of confidence. Nobody is immune to it. that I was hoping to clip the red just to the right of the black just missed it but he may get another opportunity here that red and he's looking at once again a very small window to put the cue ball here but if you can get on one of these reds and particularly that red that we're looking at now into this left corner pocket the one just left of the black if you can get on that maybe able to bring the black and the red into play has he hit it hard enough Looks pretty good. Looks very, very good. Excellent positional shot. He's on both of them, but he'd love to be on the bottom one. Maybe not just enough. Twelve. The rest required 18. again. As we've said before, Hawkins dependable in this department, but not infallible. Oh. Superb. Absolutely. Nice. As sweet as you like. Oh, he couldn't hit it any better. That was just beautiful. Now he's contemplating, do I go into the pack or do I just play for the loose red? 
If he goes into the pack of reds, he's bound to still be on this red into the right corner. I'm sure it's worth taking the opportunity as long as he doesn't. He's got to hit the, the red that's on the pink spot, full ball. He's OK. He's on one into this bottom right corner pocket. 24. And being a left-hander, he'll be able to reach this. <clears throat> Look at this for a shot. Beautiful reaction off the cue ball. Perfect on the blue. He's played three really good rest shots, hasn't he? One in that first frame down the rail. One in the previous frame. Right into the heart of the pocket for the pink on that one. Twenty-five. Troublesome to put together something meaningful here with the pink on the green spot and the, the black entirely out of the reckoning right now. But at least the blue is available in its normal spot and plenty 29. of reds are in the open. This is pretty tight, this red. Just about squeezes in. Well, I say that. Hold on, hold on. Red's going everywhere. Barry Hawkins, 29. He didn't play on that red. And it was a tight... To fit it into the pocket, but, wow, look what he's left, Mark Selby. Did all the donkey work, and now he's gifted a chance to his opponent. One. Well, surely Mike Selby has got to make the most of this. 2 0 down. 20 odd points in the race. We'll get a better opportunity in this. Okay, one red tied up next to the black, but he's got plenty of reds to Seven. gather up a lot of points before then. Eight. What a blunder, though, from Hawkins. Didn't just hit the second red. He caught it quite substantially. It wasn't a, a glancing blow. And as Ken said, it was a, a narrow gap to get through. Maybe at the last minute it was on his mind. But look at this. N nowhere. Well, the... Fourteen. The red before that to get on the pink was poor, but look at that for a shot. This is very missable. Blind pocket. Well, we'll play it. Good recovery, and he could be on the green. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, it's just the situation as well, wasn't it, Phil? I mean, he's totally dominated. Two and a half frames, Barry Hawkins, and now he's thrown Mark Selby a lifeline. 18. Nineteen. And the way this game works, if you're struggling for self-belief. The best way to restore it is to have some quality table time and make a sizable break. That was the gift from Hawkins to Selby here. 25. Twenty six. Thirty 
31. Maybe on this red, just to the left of the pink. But the second red, left of the, the black, that would be the ideal red to take next. And maybe if you can get an angle, you'll be able to take that red away from the black as well. Just contemplating a few shots ahead here. 32. Uh, he's got a nice angle, so he's got to put this cue ball down the right-hand side, just between pink and black, but far enough up that he can get on this red that's close to this left corner pocket. Down the left-hand side, I don't think would be a good choice, I think, anywhere down the right-hand side, just far enough up the table. Oh, he's going down this side. This could go wrong. So poor from Max Elby. That just shows you a piece of evidence of his, the way he's sort of feeling. Didn't have the confidence to put that cue ball on the right-hand side albeit into a small sort of space that he was looking for. Hedging his bets playing a shot like that. He's on this red. Into the yellow pocket. Mark Selby, 37. His first run of the match of any great substance, but even that ends in disappointment. be a little bit reluctant to split these reds here because if it goes wrong it well give his opponent a chance where he's covered the red that's closest to the green on it. You want to just play a containing safety shot. Yeah, reluctant to split up the reds and the black there. Don't blame him for that. Keep them tight for the moment. He's going to need them as well as Barry is, but he just wants to keep it as tight as possible. Wait for a better opportunity. This may be it. As long as this black is not a plant into this left corner pocket. And let's see, is this black possible plant? Well, there you see, it could be. May not play that red now, right of the black. Is that could knock that black in. Play the other red. That won't do at this level. Hawkins crunches reds like on a very regular basis. It's a shot he plays efficiently. Mm. 
Not on that occasion, though. That's what they call the commentator's course, Phil. You should have known that. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. As soon as he was down on it, I knew what the situation was going to be. Very popular figure on the snooker tour is Nopon Sankarm of Thailand. And his many fans will be delighted to know he's taken a 2-1 lead over Zhang Ander after losing the opening frame. What's the euphemism for basically predicting it's going to be a lengthy frame? Lots of snooker left in this one. Look where the reds are. Yeah, both players very astute in the tactical department for sure. This one has gone slightly wrong here. Oh, he's got to wait well, has he? It's potable, but certainly not as easy as it could have been. May have to use the rest here, Mark Selby, and it's a oh, very fine cut into that yellow pocket. But you could play it with a bit of confidence, knowing that maybe the green and yellow will could block it if he does miss it. Might be worth taking on this red. It doesn't look like he wants to play it. Well, this surprises me because yellow and green are a big target for, for blocking the the pocket. Well, <laughs> he maybe he saw a different shot, played it into the middle instead. <laughs> you could be there all day trying to play that shot, Phil. You'd never get it. Could be in trouble here, you know. Barry, he's already part of the double in this frame. He could part of another one. Well, that was well, Max Elby. He's only got himself to blame. I mean, it was such a poor shot. He's trying to put the brown safe, but given the advantage to Barry Hawkins, leaving the double on, and now it could be in all sorts of trouble. And with doubles, it's all about the feel of the table. And Hawkins, having pulled one off before, had the feel. Barry Hawkins won. Well, this would be some shot. Can he swear of it? No, maybe just off. One cushion, just before the middle pocket. Well, he's gone off too, but well, I'm not quite sure whether that. Oh, and a miss. That's Barry there. Hawkins for. I think he might be better off playing it with a lot of right hand side and trying to play it off one cushion.
referee Ben Williams making absolutely sure the the cue ball is precisely where it was before. Yeah, it's sliding too much off that first cushion. If he plays it with left hand side, it would straighten up the angle a little bit more. But he can't just play it middle of the white sliding too much. With these new cloths, new tables, of course, there's a big slide off the first cushion. It's only when the table gets worn a little bit that the, the cushions become a little bit more square. This time he could hit the brown. Well, he's played it well this time. Good shot. Yeah, he's left the red. Possibility. Good hit. Hawkins intently to see whether there is a gap between blue and pink. And there we can see the most certainly is. Another mistake and a poor one. Five points the lead, and that brown that Max Elby so desperately put relatively safe on that left hand side cushion. Well, he's going to need it, he's going to win the frame from this visit. Well. Not the best. to the score he's going to need that brown Six. yellow green and brown will be enough put him 20 points in the lead with just 18 remaining black hampering him slightly be careful of the sleeve Eight. Well, overscrewed that. He's still got an angle on the green, though. He could play the cue ball off the ball cushion. Get that cue ball heading down towards this brown on the left hand side. Eleven. He played that lovely. Just need to play this with any pace at all. Just drop the brown in, give the pocket a chance to accept it. And he's done well here, Max Elby. Barry Hawkins will be so disappointed, Phil. Frame in the bag a couple of times. Has not been pretty 
but it's been pretty important. Very important for Mark Selby's spirits. 26 from the frame. Match it seemed over. imperative that he won that frame. He did so. And now it is game on. Hawkins leading 2-1. Mark Selby has a frame on the board. Barry Hawkins leading 2-1 as the fourth frame is about to begin. Over on table two, Nopon Sangam playing nicely. He was 1-0 down to Zanganda. Breaks of 59 and 99 have taken him 2-1 ahead. the fourth frame. Mark Selby to break. And it looks like being 3-1. If he gets there, I will let you know. Quiet now, please. We've seen so much excellence in this tournament already, Ken. 12 centuries. Some wonderful play. In this match, not so. But there's a certain fascination when you've got two players who are not at the peak of their powers trying to find something. Yeah, and it'll only take something like that, that little clearance from Max Selby, just to maybe spark him into life in this match, being given, well, he was throwing a bone from, Mark, from Barry Hawkins when he duly took it. But from Barry Hawkins' point of view, he'd be so disappointed. He had the game at his mercy in the last frame and it would have been a huge advantage. 3-0 kept the, kept the pressure on his opponent. Kept him in that chair and now one frame in it, last frame before the mid-session interval. His opponent has got that little bit of confidence. Maybe that last frame will give him remains to be seen. They're still making errors, though, both players. This could be reminiscent of their meeting in the UK Championship before Christmas. That went right down to the wire. And Selby actually potted an extraordinary blue length of table into the yellow pocket when he was hampered, queuing over the pink. Knocked in that blue, then added the pink to win 6-5. You could see this going the distance as well. Certainly on the premise that no one's dominating right now. Hard to comprehend, Ken, given his status within the game, Mark Selby, that if he were to win today, he would equal his best ever run in the Players' Championship. He's never been past the quarterfinals. As for Hawkins, runner-up in 2022, semi-finalist the previous year, so this tournament has been kinder to him. It's an incredible statistic. He's been so successful all over the world, Max Elby. Something about the ITV events. He's yet to pick up a trophy, which is quite an incredible statistic for someone of his stature and class in the game. Currently 10th on the 
tour championship standing so not mathematically in in Manchester yet That was a wonderful shot. Purposely bringing the, the black into play. And getting a good cue ball as well, back into the bulk area. Safety shot is forced an error from Barry. Well, what a chance. Bringing that black out in the last shot is certainly helped matters. You can pot this red with the rest. Get on the black and of course, black will go into at least the left-hand corner pocket once it's re-spotted. So good opportunity here for Max Selby. rest is being put away or at least he's thinking about whether the rest is going to go away I can tell you not on Sankarm is 3-1 up at the interval eight up he's coming around to have a look the black into this left corner pocket it does pot it may even well, he was having a look to see this go into the right corner it may not back up for blue nine I played that nicely it's perfectly top side nice angle to come back down for well as he can go up into left or right corner pocket. Fourteen. Fifteen. Careful that red just below the black tight to this top cushion. Yeah. Really struggling. Never not going to hit that red. 22. And chance missed. He just looks tentative. Exuding indecision. Yeah, I thought that last frame, you know, the way part of those last few balls, that give him a little bit of a spark, spring in his tip, but it's not quite evident at the moment. I'm really struggling with the cue ball there. I mean, it's, it's just a glaring mistake. What a chance it was. It's not something you see very often. Just surprised Max by Selby, it. 22. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago at the Championship League, Alan McManus touched on this before the start of the match. Dominic Dale put a new tip on Mark Selby's cue. He really liked the tip. He played brilliantly to win his group in the Championship League and 
I, for one, thought, well, he's turned the corner now. We're going to see a really big end of season from him. But the Welsh Open was... not what he wanted at all. And he's come here. And it's all carried on. But the great thing about Selby, and it's a compliment this, he can win with his C game. In fact, he can win with his D game. Yeah, that's a good point. He doesn't have to be playing his ultimate best to, to get through. But... He's going to have to raise the bar slightly for himself here. He's going to get through this match. Because Barry Hawkins won't keep giving him chances. Sort of, has he got any of this red just left to the pink? Well, there you see, down right down the line, you see, you can't get on the, the left hand side of that red just beneath the pink. Contemplating of swerving it slightly, but that's risky. Maybe spot something else, not a red. No, he's part of it. Oh, that's another oh. fluke. Didn't mean that. But it's got him out of trouble. Harry Hawkins won. He was in a spot of bother. But Selby's safety prowess is such that you never expect him to mess up. Another illustration there, oh. Ken, of just how accurate Hawkins is with the rest. Yeah, good part, but not great position. He was hoping to avoid that red and go to the other side of it, actually. I think he parted the red into the sort of the wrong side of the pocket. He needed a wider angle so he could play this black into this Green ball. right corner, but it's not potable, so good cue ball. Try and get that. Well, cue ball hidden behind the blue, maybe here. Looks pretty good. Right, Hawkins won. Very good.
kind of nestle into these triumvirate of reds here, just below the black spot. Big target. Doesn't want to be too pacey. And he played it nicely. Could be a touching ball. No, Ben Williams had a good look. Not touching, but still a slight advantage with Barry Hawkins at the moment. Escaping that kind of snooker for Selby. He's a little bit like sitting on the, the couch and working the remote. Yeah, Dennis Taylor came up with a great nickname for Mark Selby because he's so good at escaping from snookers. Sat nav Selby. What do you think? Will that stick? <laughs> I like it. It's a good one, isn't it? Sat nav Selby. Well, that's the left hand side checking it off to top cushion, side cushion. Is this red potable may be into this bottom right corner pocket? It's close. Oh, he's left it. He's left it. And a chance if he does take this on Barry Hawkins, he could bring the black into play as well. It's a bit risky this. Great reward if he gets it, gets on a colour. You don't know where the cue ball is going here. You just got to trust it if he takes it on. I'm not quite sure he's going to take it on. Looks like he's refusing it. That surprises me. I felt it was worth taking on there, Phil. What would you say? He's such a good pointer from distance. Mm. He doesn't want to get sucked into a, a tactical battle because. We only know there's one winner there. Yeah, I think it was worth the risk. OK, he didn't know where the cue ball was going, but as long as he just got the pot. Could cost him because safety shot was no good. Left the red here into this corner. Ooh, this is tight. Well, well played. Well, well that decision. Could be very costly for Barry Hawkins. When Hawkins made a bright and breezy 78 break in the second frame. Seven. To lead 2-0. 
Selby looked in trouble. If he gets out of this two all at the interval, he will be overjoyed. Eight. Yeah, I think that will be the more disappointing thing for Barry Hawkins. He was totally dominating this match early on. Just didn't press on the advantage and very quickly he could lose the advantage going to this mid-session interval. Fourteen. Fifteen. Underlining the pace of this match, 21. the other table, table two, is back off the interval. Twenty-two. I think this could be the shot for me, Phil. If he dispatches this pink into the middle pocket, he gets on this red. That's a frame winner. Yeah, nice shot. Well played. Lovely pot that. Played a lovely cannon on the red. 28. Now he's got, well, at least three reds in the open here. Could play. Could pot this red and play a delicate little cannon on the red, just closest to the black. And beyond the black into the same corner pocket here. This would be a nice little shot. Well played. Nicely worked out. Both Judd Trump and Ronnie O'Sullivan went into their interval 36. at 2 2, and then in the second half made their presence felt and pulled away. 37. Selby will be hoping for something exactly the same. Forty-four. Forty-five. In the interval, Ken, Barry Hawkins must fight the feeling that he's 52. let things slip. He has, but he must fight the feeling. OK. Well, it's done and dusted 53. now. Interval may come at a good time for that man. 50. He's definitely let his advantage go here. 60. Can't do that against... Top players, you give them an inch, and well, they'll take it. 61. He's come back well here, Max Elby. He's found something. Still not far from his best, but as you say, his B, C game is good enough at times to win matches. We'd just be delighted to be back on, well, on parity.
67. That was a beautiful positional shot. 68. And he's got a chance now, believe it or not. The possible century. Blue will be 73, and of course 27 remaining, so possible 100 on the table. <laughs> From the position he was, he didn't expect that. He was just delighted to win the frame. That's the one shining light of the okay. first half of this match. With the rest, they have been perfect. 73. Selby, 73. No century, 73. but a break of 73. Selby's highest of the match so far. A largely scrappy encounter, and it's all square at the interval. 2-2. Two -two. Barry Hawkins 2 0 up and kind of went a little bit defensive for me. Some of his short choices. And I think the way to to beat Selby is to to go in the attack. Well, certainly not in the defence because that puts Mark in his comfort zone. I've seen Selby in the practice room, just trying to find a bit of rhythm. Chance to play an aggressive safety shot here. Open the reds up, try and get the cue ball somewhere behind green and brown on that bulk cushion. Can you switch off the phone, please? Thank you. Well, a good long pot from Hawkins now. I'm sure when he's reflected in the interval, he'll feel he needs to go back to series earlier. We're attacking ways in this match. Of course, so much of the work he did to get in the tournament was right at the start of the season. He won the European Masters. That was back in August. Six. Form has been a little up and down since. Well, he kind of stayed down in the shot after he potted the red there, as if the ball didn't end up where he wanted it to. The pink, I think, is going to go up in the brown spot when he pots it. Looking to see if there's anything available to right corner. Reds are not ideally situated, certainly for a, a frame winning break at this opportunity. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
13. I'd love to drop this red in. Pretty much dead weight and have a nice angle in the blue. In order to go into the reds. Fourteen. That's pretty good. Go into the red. It's on the pink spot. You'll be hoping that something might happen to just move that black away from the red that's next to it. Well, that has worked out about as good as it could have done. Nineteen. Absolutely. So what a chance now, the black available for Barry Hawkins to get back on the front foot in this match. Twenty. No doubt. Certainly that early season victory proved it, that he has turned things around this season. Remember last year he wasn't at the Crucible, he missed out, he had to go to qualifying, didn't make it through. Must have been a horrible experience, that World Championship on, he wasn't in it. He's actually 19 in the world now, but he will be in the Tour Championship where he's guaranteed ranking points, so it looks like he will be seeded 27. at the Crucible this year. Twenty-eight. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Forty-one. Forty-two. He's done really well here, because when he came to the table, it wasn't a chance where you think he's going to win the frame at this visit, but that shot in the blue just opened everything up. Forty-nine. These three reds in the middle of the table with blacks will be enough to win this frame, so it doesn't need to bother 50. about the four awkward reds. Well, this is surely 50, how so. he's going to win the match today. He's going to win it by scoring and attacking rather than trying to Outwit Selby in the tactical stakes. 58. Got in with a, a good long red. Has kept it going well and needs one more red after the blue. It should be 3 2 to Barry Hawkins. 53. Of course, he's run up to Neil Robertson in this tournament two years ago. 63. Sixty-four. To check in the scores, but snooker's already needed. Seventy-one. Sixty-four. 
72. Seventy-seven. Seventy-eight. Seems the interval's done him good. Just giving him a chance to collect his thoughts. Um, starting to look confident again. In terms of centuries this season, 35. He only made 23 last season, so it just shows that... 83. ...been a more successful campaign in general. 84. 91. And uh, the red just stays out. 91. But a terrific 91, that from Barry Hawkins. Exactly what he needed after the interval, after Selby had hit back. So Hawkins in front at 3-2. The last set of matches in the first round of the Players' Championship. Well and okay, truly man. underway on table two. Thank you, the sixth Nop frame. Senkom leads Yang under 3-2. That's live on ITVX. And here on table one, Barry Hawkins leads Mark Selby 3-2. Hawkins has just made the highest break of the afternoon, 91. Yeah, and it's how the, the top players love to win a frame. Pot a great long pot and get and win the frame one visit. That's, that's what you're aiming to do in every frame. That's what fills you with confidence. Decent break off from Mark Selby, though. He's got Barry, I think, snookered on everything. He's looking for a safe point in the Reds. Looks like two cushions into the bunch. Shake of the head from Hawkins. Selby's got him in the spot of bother here. There's nothing to choose on safety between them today, but in terms of pot success, Hawkins well in front. That has been a difference. Selby, you always know, is going to find you in difficult spots. It's just whether he can and take advantage if you leave him anything. Only been one significant break from Selby today. That's 73 in frame four.
Hawkins has coped with the danger. Thank you. Well, you can definitely get through to this red nearest the left corner. I do think this is where intervals can help. Just get out of the arena for 15 minutes, sort of take a step back, look at what's been happening. Hawkins must have known that he just got a little bit sucked into maybe playing the game that didn't suit him. Not straight forward where the next red is coming from. You can see they're all kind of blocking each other. To the left corner. He looked at there's one above the black. There's a possibility. He's just trying to drop on that. He's let the cue ball travel too far though. It's just above and to the left of the black. Six. Be a big shot to take that red on now. Because not only is the pot really tough, but you've no real idea where the cue ball's ending up. You'll play it with top spin and just hope for the best, really. He's come round to look at the potting angle. I say nice 91 break in the previous frame. Another nice long pot here. So he's feeling confident. And I think he should keep his foot in the pedal. Don't go negative, that's what he did in the first session of this match, being 2-0 up. OK, he's missed it, Sorry, but it was the right shot. Has he left anything? The first glance, it doesn't look like he's left anything straightforward. The plant is, well, really tough. Got pretty close to this. You'd have to say a big slice of fortune there for Barry Hawkins not to leave anything. Meanwhile, <laughs> Selby is just tucking his waistcoat in, just uh, careful of this red. Ben Williams, the referee, lurking. Breathe in. <laughs> right, there you go. Hawkins, OK, he, he kind of got away with the last shot, but now he's banging it, banging trouble. I think there's a path off one cushion to get to the two reds that are 
over the left corner. Man, obviously not. He decided to play into the main bunch. And he's played it pretty well. Now this could be a bit of an awkward frame now because of those reds over the left corner pocket. We could see quite a bout of safety. Thank you. Just all very congested down that left hand side. Think of all the practice these guys do, and they do hours, of course. You don't set the balls up like this for a practice session, so you have to sort of think on your feet, really. He's trying to drop the white onto the cushion, he's got nowhere near it. So, could be a big error that. Gives Mark Selby some sort of opening. One. from the black spot, just to the left of the black spot, as soon as possible. Be surprised if he doesn't play for it here from the blue, off the cushion. Six. Seven. Got rid of the offending red now on the black. Decent chance this. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. 
Doesn't need to go into the three reds above the blackness. The red two to the left of the pink goes to the left corner. If he was to go into the three reds, he'll favour going into them the left hand side of them as, as we look. That's a little bit unlucky if he's not on a red because he played that nicely. 22. Mm, that's tight, isn't it? But looking at his body language, I think he thinks he's on it. Maybe not. Well, it looks to me he's put a tiniest bit of left hand side on here just to try and. Yeah, definitely played that with side. 23. Good shot, that. Thirty-one. In the race to the Tour Championship, Selby currently provisionally 10th. Top 12 get in. There's one more event after this that counts. The World Open, a big money event in China. So at the moment, he's not guaranteed to be there. He'd probably say good chance he would be. If he wasn't, it'd be a bit of a body blow before the World Championship. Well, it's worked out nicely. 38. Thirty-nine. He's one of those players, his form comes and goes like everybody's does, but he just always feels dangerous. And when things got a bit scrappy there and Safety dominated, you sort of fancied him finding a way in, which he did. Hawkins didn't quite get the cue ball to the cushion to leave that red on. Yeah, a little slight wry smile there, a shake of the head, wrong side of the green here. So next red is going to have to be played from further away than you would have liked. A little test of this. Well, he's played a cannon. I don't know whether he actually needed 56. to play a cannon there. I'm not sure why he just didn't play for the red that's to the right of the two beside the pink, but decided to play some sort of can and missed it completely.
He's looking at taking this red on to the right corner, taking the cue ball off three cushions back to bulk, but he'll be on the brown. Hopefully leave the cue ball in the bulk cushion. Mark Selby, 56. Yeah, we're disappointed, Mark Selby. He created a good opportunity. He just lost the cue ball in the last three or four shots of that break. Yeah, the end red, yeah, I've had a, I've had a look back. The red, that's the red that he's pointing his cue at now. He's just looking to come off the cushion first and just hit the left-hand side of that red, leave the cue ball somewhere near this left corner pocket. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, the red that he moved is potable to right corner. And if Mark Selby can play in such a way that you get the cue ball, let's say, back up near that bolt cushion again, he can play it as a kind of shot to nothing. Well, if he lands on a red, surely it's 3-3. Three, three. Five. Come along nicely till he fell to make that cannon, but he had a good lead and just crafted another way in where he got the cue ball. Six. The previous shot Hawkins has played. Cut off five of the six reds. Just left the chance that Selby is now taking. So it's been a pretty masterful play, really, from Selby just to get in in these frames. And even though Hawkins 13. kind of felt like the better player, it's going to be level. 14. be interesting if Selby could come through because he's not played Ronnie O'Sullivan for a while. They did actually play in Shanghai in a big tournament this season, but on UK soil, they've not actually met since 2020. And that was behind closed doors. Of course, they've had some epic, epic battles, those two in some of our biggest tournaments. In fact, the biggest tournaments. Signs for Selby here. He's dug in in this frame and in the end dominated it. 22.
Thirty. So, the 56 Mark got him the lead, the he fact. got in again, and Mark Selby has levelled up again. So this match now, effectively, best of five, we're all square at 3-3. Three, three. Day three of the Players' Championship. But on table two, Zhang An has, of course, had such a, a brilliant season, and he's trailing 3-2 here to Nopin Senkom, but it's looking like 3-3. Three, three. So on the colours, and uh, Senkom needs a snooker. And the yellow goes in, so 3-3, three, three, that's live on ITVX. And it's also 3-3 three, three here, Mark Selby Barry Hawkins, dominating that sixth frame against Barry Hawkins. The winner of uh, Senkam and Zhang plays John Higgins. The winner of this match plays Ronnie O'Sullivan. Tonight we start the quarterfinals, Judd Trump against Ali Carter. Barry Hawkins, four. Yeah, the, the, the red that he missed came back across and is now close to that same pocket. Hawkins, three out of four for long potting so far. One. Didn't put that red cleanly. That's why the cue ball hasn't made the distance to pass the blue. This looks unnatural. Oh, he's aiming quite down on the cue ball, so that was a natural to follow through with two cushions in green and brown. He's had a magnificent save. Positional shot there for the red above the black. Six. That was top draw. Off the bolt cushion with rights hand side, check side. Seven. Well, he's sort of been second best on the safety, hasn't he? So when these 14. chances come along at this stage of the match, you're feeling you're going to try and take them. Try and stay positive as well. Fifteen. He did win this title. It was a different iteration of it. He Players' Championship in 2014. He qualified through the Players' Tour Championship series, a series of PTC events. But that was one of his ranking title victories. Ben Williams, slightly uh, delicate operation here, just getting this pink to the right spot.
21. Thank you. Twenty two. Tempted to play for the red beside the black here to right corner. Oh, well, he's going low in the cue ball, so deciding against it. I'd be trying to get rid of that red as soon as possible, just to free the black into both corner pockets. 27. That's 27. A, well, that's an unforgivable miss <clears throat> and should be punished. As I say, I think he played the wrong shot of the previous blue. I think get down, get that red away from the black. The shot is playing, you're always thinking about trying to get right side of the blue. He's been let off. OK, no pot lift. Mark's a wee bit of disappointing miss for him. I mean, just got level again in the match. So used to the very best players in the world punishing mistakes like that easy. Miss red. I think Mark Selby, his best, does do that. Not least because Barry Hawkins was an absolute bitch, wasn't he? When he missed that red, he was back in his seat. He was shaking his head, completely confused about what had happened, but... Straight back at the table again. This match, it's almost like it's a continuation of that UK Championship match in York. That was a, a late night thriller, very tight, very edgy. And OK, we've had a, some breaks in this match, but a bit of few mistakes as well. Well, another miss, but at least for Selby, the red just came away from the pocket. So it's just got a little bit nervy now. If the cue ball was further away from the cushion, he would play the red that's closest to the right middle into the right corner, because with that red being there, the pocket actually plays quite big. And because the cue ball is close to the cushion, no control over it.
Oh, desperate for help from the green, and he's got it. And yet, little raise of the hand. He was playing for the cue ball on the bulk cushion, not to just creep in behind the green there. Anywhere near that green pocket with the cue ball. We'll leave it safe. Yeah, that's pretty good. Same kind of shot, you would feel, from Barry Hopkins. Barry's left this red on for Mark Selby, but there's a bit of pressure on it. I think if he misses it, he's bound to leave a chance. <laughs> Great pot. Well, and avoids the end off, but not nicely on the green. This was in practice, you'd see Mark Selby take the green on to left middle, screw the cue ball in and out of bulk. I'm uh, doubting whether he'll do that at this stage of this match. Mark Selby won. Yeah, back to the granite stuff. Trying to force another opening. Not sure there's ever been a player with more patience, actually, than Selby. I mean, obviously, he would like to have been nicely on a colour there, but he accepted he wasn't. He didn't want to take any risks, so just played the snooker. is on to the far right corner. Can I play a little screw into the red below the pink, leave the pink to the right middle? I think if, if he can play that shot, he won't be leaving anything should he miss this red. to the right middle, which is a way of taking the cue ball down to bulk, but having potted the red, I'd be disappointed he didn't fully commit in terms of getting on a colour. Played it with an element of safety. I, mean, I don't think there's any prizes for guessing what's happening here. Max Selby won. Different colour, same problem for Hawkins. Coming to the table, snooking again. Selby just sort of chipping away. Still, of course, trailing in the frame. But 
Hawkins knows potentially just needing one chance to step in here. He started really when he missed that red to the left corner, Barry Hawkins. He was looking good at that point. And uh, he was completely bemused himself why he missed it. Well, they will do well to hit a red and not leave anything on here. But yeah, if he put that easy red, there's every chance the frame would be over now, be 4 3 ahead. But it is so important to kill the frames off against all the top players when you've got the chance. No more so than Mark Selby, because you know the frame could last 20 minutes longer than it should. Ball on a miss. Mark Selby full. Yeah, this is sort of a boa constrictor snooker from Selby, isn't it? He's just sort of squeezing and squeezing, trying to force the opening. Sorry? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the white was nowhere near the right there. Barry Hawkins just uh, asking for the adjustment. You okay? Man? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so. Here's a chance for Selby. But this is where he's got to sort of shake himself out of the granite stuff and get on the front foot and get on the attack. I think in general, his results lately haven't been great. He's not that confident, really. But one good week in, in any tournament can change all of that, of course. One. Yeah, it took a, quite a lot of time over that shot. It seemed straightforward. I think possibly knowing the importance now of this visit to the table. They've not been in front of this match so far this afternoon. Good time to hit the front. Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> it's a good open, eight out of eight, but because every one is uh, different, different difficulties, this is a bit awkward. Blue slightly in the way. Yeah, and Kim. he's potted it, but he's nowhere. No. So let's end the break. Yeah, he's absolutely enraged with that shot he's played. Yeah, just putting the cannon on that red there. Just uh, completely got it wrong. Wasn't that difficult a shot? 
Axel be nine. But although he's 16 points behind, he has got control of this frame, Mark Selby. Harry Hawkins that's on the defensive. So I'm a little bit careful not to pot the black here. Yeah, thick enough contact, too thick on the red. Perhaps was conscious of that, the red going into the black. That presented another chance to Mark Selby on a plate here. Yeah, it's turned into a horrible frame for Hawkins, this. Yeah, I think Selby this time make the most of it. Well, Zhang Ander, meantime, was 3-1 down at the interval to Nopin Senkan, but has hit the front now at 4-3. That's live on ITVX. Anyone in a game plays screw shots better than Mark Selby. It's so much action on that cue ball. Six. Top spin as well, actually. He gets so much work on the white ball when he hits it. Delivers the cue beautifully. Thirteen. Nineteen. He's just having a look there to see if the red is absolutely tight on the cushion, because that just makes a difference to this pot. I mean, it looks like it is jammed up against it. Twenty. If it was slightly off the cushion, it actually made that pot just a little bit trickier. And it's still the the spectre of that red on the right cushion will be the ball that's 27. just at the back of his mind. He knows that's the important one in terms of winning this frame at this visit. He's going to have to move it. 28. Yeah, it's just looking red. I mean, it's, I don't often see the players move the red off the cushion from potting a red. Normally it's from a colour. He just feels he can, he plays it with a bit of pace off the red. Make sure the cue ball comes away from the cushion. The reason you, 34. one of the reasons you wouldn't play red off the red is, as I say, if you leave the cue ball jammed on the side cushion. So I want to hit this red half ball. 35. The ball's not come away from the cushion. He's got an awkward colour now to try and get on the last red. It's always a risk playing it that way.
41. Yeah, he didn't finish ideal on it, but he is on it. And red and colour should put him in front for the first time. He's always been chasing this match, but... Big chance for 4-3 here. Just found a way back into the match. Still needs potting, though, this red. Forty-two. Why well, didn't play for the cue ball to can in the pink? It was supposed to just come up and down the table. So again, not the easiest frame ball. It is missable, this brown. Well, in a way, it's been classic Selby. It's just been sheer persistence in this frame. In bits and pieces, but he was sort of 46. bossing the tactical stuff. He's just got enough chances in the end. It seems to win it. Hawkins needs a snooker already. Yellow is in, and Mark Selby 48. is surely going to be in front. Hawkins had a good chance at the start of the frame. He missed, and then he got dragged in. To the tactical stuff. He's got to try if he gets another chance to to stay fluent, stay flowing. The way the match is sort of panning out, it's favouring Selby. Fifty-five. Sixty. So a sixty-six to the pink. Mark Selby. The, frame, For the first time today is in front in this first round match in Telford. Barry Hawkins with a few things to think about. Selby leading four-three. Matches in progress here this afternoon in Telford at the Players Championship. This is table two. Nopin Senkom here from Thailand. He was three-one up at the interval, but Janganda. He's had such a good season, of course, got himself in the top 16. He is 4-3 in front, although this is a good chance for Nop and Senkam in frame eight. It's all live, of course, on ITVX with Michael and Joe. We were watching here an entertaining match. These two played in the final round of qualifying, actually, at the World Championship last year, and it went to the last black, 10-9. Nop and Senkam knocked it in to qualify for the Crucible. 23. Little did we know how Zhang would recover from that, of course, this season. So it has the potential to go all the way, as indeed does our match. We're just waiting for Mark and Barry to return. 4-3, of course, to Selby. The winner of the Senkam Chang match will play John Higgins. 24. In the quarterfinals, of course, the winner of Selby Hawkins plays Ronnie O'Sullivan. We know tonight it's Judd Trump against Ali Carter. And tomorrow afternoon, Mark Allen against Gary Wilson, two players who <laughs> were multiple title winners this season. So... It's tempting to say the cream's rising to the top because the point about this event is the cream to start with is the top 16 on the one-year list who made it to Telford. As Selby and Hawkins return. So you can watch the remainder of Zhang and Senkam live on ITVX. Mark Selby in front for the first time. He's just won the Thank longest frame of the match, 26 Max and a half Selby minutes. In the end, he made a good 66, but there was a lot to wade through before that, but we know he will give it everything now to try and get the job done. 4-3, he needs two, Hawkins needs three. And a look of, well, let's be honest, pain as that red came back down the table. Sort of knew what was going to happen.
Thank you. One. Mark Selby in immediately. Now, can he just be positive here and try and get something going? It's been, as I say, a bit stop-start, really. Even, you know, he made the 60-odd in the last frame, but it took a, a long time to sort of get into that position. You know, at his best, he recognise that this is a, he's got in front of this match and this is a time to sort of press home the advantage and really go for the, the winning line. A one-visit win here to go two up a possible three to play. That's what the, the very best do. They just assess the situation and know when the time is to pounce and really raise, go up a gear. That was a little bit clumsy with the cue ball. He should have been having a choice of both of these reds to play for the black. He can't play for the black now. 12. But that's a fabulous shot to get right side of the blue. It really is. As I say, he plays those screw shots, I think, better than anyone. Seventeen. He'd have been 18. disappointed having to play out for the blue, but that shot would have made him feel good. Twenty-five. <clears throat> Just stopped. Go up again. Like he's maybe tempted to screw off the bunch here. No, he's not going to play it. Could have possibly put that 26. red, screwed off the bunch, stayed on the black to the same pocket. It was risky because you could leave the cue ball tight in the right cushion. But I say he's only got one more red to play now. He's not got the angle of this black. I don't think, to go into the bunch. So the big shot now in this break, coming up. Needs an angle on the black 33. to open up the reds. 34. That's pretty good. And the red that's just to the right of the bunch, if you can sort of get that half ball and screw the cue ball into the, the main bunch. That little gap there, that sort of joint of the pack, you can open everything up, screw the cue ball to the left side of the table. Oh, that's just wonderful. It really is wonderful game. Couldn't have played it better. Yeah, Mark Selby's oh, made his move here, and he's made it in style. Look at this. He's got them really where he wants them now, so great chance to move to within one of a meeting with Ronnie O'Sullivan. Forty two. And he's he's doing what Well, there, there isn't a player in the game that's ever played that doesn't benefit from picking up the pace a bit, and he seems to have done that in this break. Seems to just be playing that split second quicker. comes from confidence and it breeds confidence 47. as well. Forty-eight. 
is the other side of Selby. We know the tactical genius, but he's a heavy scorer as well. He went over 53. 800 career centuries this season, five maximums. 54. Although in this player's championship, he's only actually ever made two centuries before now. It's for whatever reason been a bogey tournament. Fifty-nine. Sixty. I may have played that shot with just a touch of stun. Maybe just play from those four. This black put some sixty-seven ahead with sixty-seven on. So. It just means he's got to play for the awkward red on the left cushion here. I don't think he can get into the main, those four reds. 57. We don't expect him to miss this red. It is frame ball, 67. though. 67. Well, 11 out of 11 with the rest in terms of potting. from Selby, broke off, Hawkins was on the bulk cushion and he watched in, well, horror really as a red travelled to bulk, that was the starter that he left Selby and he's continued to get to this position where snookers are required. Seventy-five. Even with all these snookers needed, the still taking no chances, playing the good safety, but the 75 will do nicely. So he was 2-0 down, he was 3-2 down, but Mark Selby has made his move. He leads 5-3, and he needs one more to take on Ronnie O'Sullivan in the last eight. So 66-75, the breaks from Mark Selby in the last two frames. 5-3, he leads Barry Hawkins Thank on the other the table, 4-4. Four, four. Shang and Lopin Senkam, that continues on ITVX. Senkam with a 94 break in frame eight. Hawkins now, 31 minutes since he's potted a ball. He's been on the back foot, he's been kept there. Can he find a way back into this match? He started it pretty good. He was 2 0 up, looking confident. Seemed to just lose a little bit of that confidence before the interval. Of course, made the 91 in the fifth frame, but not much to write home about since. Weak safety shot from Barry Hawkins. He's left a pot from Mark Selby to the left corner. Not easy. I think pink goes to the same pocket. Maybe an element of safety. I think anywhere near that right middle pocket doesn't leave anything easy for his opponent. So, free shot this, really. And we're disappointed at missing that. You can almost have a glimpse of the winning line in that red there. Because if it goes in, look at the situation of the table.
Not sure if he can play this as a, as a cross double, the red to right middle, bring the cue ball back up to the bulk end. No, it was never on. It was just a safety shot and a good one. Caught too much of the red. That's why the cue ball's finished where it has. And you see, 35 minutes basically since he potted one. Could have done with an easier one, I guess. After all that time. Yeah, the last couple of pots he's gone for Barry's. Just, yeah, you see the movement there in the head. Has not been cued well at all. Last couple of pots he's attempted. I think that easy one that, he, that he's missed has, has really dealt a huge blow to his confidence. reds around the pink spot the bottom red to left corner is the one he's looking at but no easy to negotiate the cue ball with all those reds get it back up the table for a color well, yeah, that's well done okay we needed that little bit of luck to land perfectly on the blue but he's now given himself a chance how ourselves he's not at the, the most confident moments of his career Six. at the moment so I think winning this match at this visit will do a lot to help that even if you sort of scrape over the line 6-5 it just doesn't give you that huge boost of confidence going into the next round but if you can somehow manage to win it here Seven. I think this would please him a lot Well, for now, just feeding off the lower value colours, the pink's saved, the black's buried at the moment as well. That's another beautiful strike. Nine. And he has in the last three frames really started to a lot of these shots with a lot of authority. Breaks of 56, 66, 75. And playing at a, a more positive pace. Ten. And again, okay, he's not in the blue to left middle, but that was another great strike of the cue ball. He 
is it going to be another chapter in one of Snooker's great modern rivalries, O'Sullivan Selby? 17 11 to O'Sullivan overall, but of course, Mark Selby uniquely has beaten Ronnie O'Sullivan in the final of all three of the Triple Crown events the World, UK Championships, and the Masters. And I think in snooker, memory is quite significant. On current form, you would make O'Sullivan quite a big favourite. But 15. Memories of those meetings, some close ones, some comebacks, some pain inflicted on either side makes it pretty mouth-watering. He's not there yet, of course, but he has the chance to set up what will be a blockbuster tie tomorrow evening. Yeah, sure. Sixteen. And again, he's played that nicely. He's on the blue. Still hasn't missed with the rest. Thirteen out of thirteen. Twenty one. Twenty two. Once again, he's got the top side of this blue. He's having to work hard here. They say pink and black no good at the moment. But hard work <laughs> and Mark Selby, they go together, don't they? And that's the thing, even if he's not at his best, which he wasn't earlier in the match, you know he's going to dig in, which he did. He got a foothold in this match before 27. the interval without really any fireworks. Whereas Hawkins probably felt he should have been in front or certainly had the chance to be. Twenty-eight. Yeah, again, he's just about got the top side of that blue. Thirty-three. Thirty four. <clears throat> Thirty nine. Let's watch the cue go through the cue ball here. Just 40. Well, he's almost hit that too well that time. I think he's given himself, well, he's not given himself any reason not to go into the three reds by the black here, where he's finished with the cue ball. This works out. I think it's match over. 30. That's pretty good. 
45. This has been a very impressive last two or three frames from Mark Selby. Negotiate this little positional shot up for the blue. He's found a gear. 46. That all the top players managed to do. No, he's just finished short. Yeah, the, the body language just looks, the last couple of frames has just looked a lot more confident than it was at the start of this match. Fifty one. Well, a couple more reds with blues. Hawkins would need a snooker. 52. It's been some effort this break. The pink and black out of commission throughout. He's really had to keep it going well, and he has done. 57. He's finished in no man's land there. He really has. He's a foot yeah. short of where he should be. 57. I think he's just. I think he's just so anxious to get this match won now. He knows what a result it'll be from 3 2 behind to win 6 3 against an opponent like Barry Hawkins. Even for someone who's won. The amount that, Bar that Mark Selby's won is still a big victory. 58. Yeah, it's what he's looking for, isn't it? Some big wins in some big tournaments. And this certainly is that, and it's a big meeting coming up with Ronnie O'Sullivan. If he can pop this next ball. Greatest rivalries, I think, we've had in the game, in the history of the game. 60. The matches that Selby's had with the Sullivan, obviously World Finals. I think it's uh, it doesn't get much better. Can't 61. wait for that one tomorrow night. Well, this is some break to win it, isn't it? It's been unorthodox in terms of the way he's had to go about it, but. He has gone about it, is the point, and he's finished this match very strongly, you've got to say. Hawkins is going to be disappointed. Go back to that seventh frame. It was 3-3. Three, three, and he was nicely in. He was in front. He missed a red to this left corner pocket. And basically hasn't potted a ball since. It's been all Mark Selby. 67. Yeah, if you can't take confidence from this win, then who knows where he can take confidence. Great performance this has been. So the blue right, stays Selby, out, but 67. the damage well and truly done. Thank you very much. Old friends, of course, these two. But it was all business on the table, and it was Mark Selby who produced a terrific finish from 3-2 down. He won the last four frames. He'll take on Ronnie O'Sullivan on Thursday night. He's beaten Barry Hawkins 6-3.